Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you exactly how to solve the problem of we have disabled your ad account to protect your personal and financial info. To run ads again, you will need to fill out a form and request an account review. Or you may see it also this way. You may see we notice some unusual activity. So we have disabled your account. Verify your account to run ads again. Normally, this problem arises when you try to um, maybe add a new payment method to your advertising account. Or it could be that you have been running an advert, but all of a sudden, they notice some unusual login from a location you don't usually log in. Or they notice an unusual login on a new device. So let me explain this further. This particular problem is a payment-related problem. What happens is, if Facebook suspects that you are not the one using your account or a new card that is added to the account may not be you who is adding it. They will disable it to make sure that you verify that if it is you, you are actually the one using it for them to get it back for you. And I have experienced a lot of these situations like um, because I run advert for um, people on several occasions, it has happened to a lot of people and I've been able to help them get a solution. So what happens is that someone account or on most occasions, people people's account get hacked. And normally when the hackers hack in, they just try to run an advert. And when they attempt to run an advert, they try to spend a lot of money within a short time. So when they, they run, they log in, they run the advert, maybe your budget, you have been running your advert at five or ten dollars a day, and they start to run the advert and they budget it at hundred dollars a day. Of course, Facebook will suspect that this is not you because they know your user budget uh, or how much you spend per day. That is one of the things. The other part is maybe you are adding a debit card to your account and the debit card that you are adding is not in the same currency as your primary location, the account, primary location country or primary country of location. Uh, let me give a practical example. Let's say you are living in, um, you are living in Canada and you are trying to add a debit card and that debit card is from, let's say, India or Kenya in Africa. So the system will detect that the debit card that you are using and you are trying to add to the account is totally different from your primary location. Or let's say you are in Africa and the debit card you're using is from US or Europe. They will detect something and it will be a suspicious activity. So I'm going to now show you how to get this resolved. Okay, so when you get something like this, so first of all, try to identify what caused it to happen. Try to identify. So when you log into your Facebook account and then you see something like that, you can click on request re review or you go to your payment settings and then you see contact support. So when you click on contact support, it will open here. So when it opens here, they will ask you to describe the problem in detail. So in describing a problem, this is uh, what you are supposed to say. Um, I have a sample that I would like to read it for you. Example. And this one, the ad account is my client ad account, I, which I have been made an administrator to appeal on his behalf. So this is what I said. I said, dear Facebook, my Facebook user account, so that's the user ad account of my client, has been restricted and I'm told we noticed some, some suspicious activity so we have disabled your account to protect your personal and financial info. So I was asked to fill a form and contact Facebook payment support, but I received no solution. My Facebook account was hacked on 16th December 2023, and I was able to recover it on 30th December. The hacker ran several campaigns at the same time and spent about $5,5990 Please help me get my account reinstated. I already contacted contacted Facebook support several times, but I keep on getting automated vague answers like we could not verify your payment method to protect your to protect our users. We cannot reliably reactivate your payment account at this time. Please know that when we disable account, we consider several factors, including what they said a lot of things. Now, after I said that, they said, attach a statement of your payment method that include the last four digits of the payment method, any recent charges. So what they are simply saying is that you must get a statement, a bank statement to attach. And it must be a bank statement that 
you use the, the, the a bank statement that the debit card is connected to, which you use for to run the ADET. They want the bank statement so that they can see all the deductions on your account on the on, on, on their bank statement. All the deductions right. through the debit card on your bank statement. So let me show you. Some people say they've, they've never seen a bank statement or they don't know how it looks like. So this is it. So I'm going to share with you um a sample bank statement which I used to do the appeal so that you can see how it looks like. So this is a sample. So a bank statement will have transaction, a statement of all the transactions that occurred in the, that particular month. So what you need to do is you need to go to your payment, your Facebook, the advertising account payment history, and then look at all the deductions that happen and look at the dates and make sure that when you go to your bank, you request for a payment covering those dates. So let's say that I come back to my bailing and payment. I have to go to the payment, um, okay, payment activity and then check the date. So I'm going to make it lifetime so that I can see when and when. So as you can see, December 23rd, December 19th, December 18th, December 17th, December 17th. December 17th. This, this is the time that the hacker was actually running the advert. So all these, I just have to um make sure that the bank statement will cover for December 2023. And then after that, you can also make sure that the debit card that you, you are using, you get, you take a picture of it and then attach, take a picture of it and then cover the, uh, the middle numbers. Leave the first four digit and the last four digit and then cover the middle numbers, the middle eight uh, numbers, okay? So make sure that you protect the, uh, the sensitive information, but just leave some of the digit, the last four and the first four so that you can see. And also, if your name is shown on it, fine, leave it. Then you can blur the date. Don't also take a screenshot of the back, only the front. So after that, you attach it. You see add photos here. So you, you attach it. You click on add, and then you can just drag it and come and add it. Then after you add it, uh, you now submit it. So let me just add one for you to see. Um, Just add one. So... This is the bank statement. So it's added. You can also add the debit card. I am just trying to demonstrate to you, but I've already made the appeal. So you try to describe your problem, your how it, your, your case happened may be different, but just take time, describe it, and then request the review. If you request the review, um, they will respond to you in support inbox. So this is where the response will come. When you come here, you go to your profile, then you go to help and support. Then you go to support inbox. If they reply, the reply will come to your Facebook support inbox. So let me show you a sample Facebook support inbox. So this is the support inbox. So it's going to come here. You will look at where it says other. So look at that information will come there. And then you'll be able to, whatever they say, sometimes they may respond to you that they cannot resolve it. But you just have to make a uh, uh, follow up and let them, um, they will attend to you. Or you may just decide to, contact Facebook live chat support. So if you don't know how to contact Facebook live chat support, I will indicate, um, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving a, a, a video in the link above. You can follow that and then check it. Then I will also leave it in the description. You can follow it to contact Facebook live chat support. Now, if you do all that and you don't get a solution, please, there is a WhatsApp link in the description. Follow the WhatsApp link and contact us. I will help you. There's a WhatsApp and a Telegram link you can follow to contact me and then I'll help you. But remember, you will pay for it. It's not for free. We have very affordable charges that we will be able to help you get a solution to your problem. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell and like this video for other more uh, powerful videos like this. Once again, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.